Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at your external hard drive or external SSD. Exact same video for both of them, so let's get started. Once again, it doesn't matter which brand you guys have, this is going to be the exact same thing for all of them. So right here is my external hard drive, I can just double click on it, it's going to open up, I can see the files that's inside of them. Now let's say you guys don't see this icon in your desktop. Well, don't worry about it, just go right into your finder, open that up. Once you open that up, you're going to see locations, and under locations, you're going to see YouTube backup. Well, that's the name of my external hard drive. Yours could be whatever you named it. And up here, I'm going to see all my files. So you do have these files. We just open one up. And then from inside this folder, I have several videos. Now, whether you want to delete a video, a picture, a very specific file, it could be a Word file, Excel file, anything really, including folders, it's going to be the exact same instructions. Just right click on the file that you want and then move to trash. So you guys will see that option right here. It says move to trash, click on it, and there we go. Now, before you eject your external hard drive, always, always empty out your trash. And that way it's fully deleted or else it's not actually fully deleted. So again, we can right click on our trash, empty trash, and done. Once we select empty trash, we should see something like this. Just empty it out. And that means you won't be able to get that back. So that's one way to delete a file. Now let's say this right here. I want to delete this. So I can click on it. I can press control, delete on my keyboard. That's also going to get rid of it. And I do have to empty up my trash. And the third way of doing this would be just to drag it to our trash bin. So here we go. Let's just drag this all the way down here, our trash, and then it's been deleted. Obviously, for all these ways, we do have to empty out our trash bin. So once again, we can go to our trash bin. We don't have to right click on it all the time. You could literally just open it up as well. So I can just click on it. Once I click on it, I'm going to see my trash. And then on the top right hand corner, it's going to say empty. Just empty it out. You're still going to see this just empty. And there you go. Also, for example, let's say let's go into this folder. Let's say you have a lot of pictures here. You don't want to go one by one. Well, you can press command A that's going to select everything within the folder and then just press command delete and it's going to delete everything. So once again, I'm going to show you again, go into, let's say this folder here, I'm going to press command A and then command delete. It's going to get rid of everything from within that folder. So that's if you want to delete a lot. Now, let's say you guys have a ton of stuff. So literally terabytes. So for example, if you have a couple terabytes, so right here, if I press on get info, I can see that this is seven terabytes. So instead of pressing command A and then command delete, which will take quite a long time to delete, I can just format this. So I'm going to show you that next. But before we do that, I want to show you one more trick just in case you're still having problems deleting stuff from your external hard drive. So first of all, let's just close this up. And here's my external hard drive or external SSD. Right click on it. Once you right click on it, go into get info. Under get info, all the way in the bottom, you're going to see this. So sharing and permissions, just open that up and you're going to see you. So in this case, the name of my Mac is iMac. That's me. And then right here it says read and write. That means I can delete stuff. However, if it was only read only, I wouldn't be able to do that. So if you're having any problems, so just make sure to change it to read and write. And then you're going to be able to go ahead and delete those files. Now, let's say you don't have the problem here. Well, the problem might be in your folder itself. So you can also do the same thing on your folder. So here's my folder or the file that I want to delete. Going to get info and we're going to do the exact same thing down here. It should say read and write. As long as you can do that, then you're able to actually delete this or do anything with it. All right. Now let's get back into deleting a ton of stuff. Well, the best way is to format this because it's going to take a lot of time to actually delete everything if it's a couple terabytes. So if you want to delete everything from your external hard drive and hey, maybe you're selling it and that's why you're watching this video, then I'm going to teach you right now what to do. So let's just close this off. Then we're going to go down here below. We're going to see this utility. So this utility looks like this. If you can't find it, just go into your spotlight search. So top right hand corner of my screen, I'm going to see this icon and this is my spotlight search. Just look for disk utility. So here is my disk utility. I can open it up. Now, before we do anything, always, always avoid anything that says internal. So just close this off for now. We don't need to look at anything that's internal. 
if you can't see anything on your side well you can also see this right here just click on show all devices and you should be okay and never hide your sidebar because that could be a problem too anyways at this point what we want to do is go into external so everything that's external is going to be here there might be two or three things don't worry about it just click on the first one if you only have one thing connected in your mac that's going to be it and i can verify that because it does tell me that's youtube backup and this other name don't worry about that for you guys that could be a totally different name it does not matter just click on your first option and then on the top you're going to see erase so here's erase and this will delete everything from within your external hard drive so we're going to go ahead and click on erase from here i would just format it the way that you had it format for you for so if most likely if it was an ssd then for sure you had it as apfs if you had an external hard drive maybe you had it format it as journal but keep in mind that even an external hard drive you can go ahead and format it as apfs it's no problem i recommend just keeping it in partition map just in case you change your mind later on you want to make partitions it's very useful and for those of you who are selling your external hard drive i would just name untitled and that's it just leave it as is plus going to security options so on the bottom left hand side security options now quick warning if uh, you go into most secure, so if I click right here, this could literally take days to format. So yeah, it makes it that secure. So that way you make sure nobody can retrieve any information you had in your external hard drive before. If you go here, it's still going to take a long time. And here it could take, again, it does depend on how much info you've got and how big your volume is. So just be aware that if you select any of these security options, it's going to take a very very long time however if you just go into fastest yes technically people could maybe recover some files it's very hard to recover files and usually when you recover them they're not complete so let's say it's a picture it's almost almost you're gonna be almost able to recover it but the picture might not even open up there's gonna be files that are just gonna be corrupted so again you will be able to recover some files, but not everything if you just leave it as fast as. So if you are selling this, I would go at least with this one. So that way it's a bit secure. And if you're really worried, go into more secure. Just make sure that this could literally take a couple days. I'm not even kidding. It depends how big your external hard drive is. But if it's an SSD, it's not that big. More secure, it's not going to take days, guys. It might just take a few hours or even minutes. It all depends on how much info you're looking at. But anyways, that's if you're selling it. Right now, I'm just going to leave it as fast as because it's fine. So if this is your personal use, don't worry about that. Go right into Journal or APFS, your choice. So maybe before you only had it working for Mac, and you only had Journal or APFS, go ahead and do that. Or you can choose XFAT to make this work with a PC and Mac. But in my case, I'm just going to choose Journal. I'm actually going to leave it as Untitled and Erase. So again, this will delete everything from within the external hard drive. So do not do this if you don't want to delete everything from within it. That means all files, everything that's in it will get erased. And then you can go ahead and just keep using it like you were using it before. You can drag and drop files into it. You can do anything, just keep it as a good backup. So here we go. So right now, as you guys can see, I have my full eight terabytes available. So right here, I can see that it's used only 1.45 nine gigs that's just because of the format and then free i have eight terabytes which you know it's not exactly eight terabytes so let's just close this off and right now here it is so it's untitled if i open it up there should be nothing within it and that's how you guys can get rid of everything delete your files from any external hard drive or any external ssd but as far as this video goes we are all done if you have any questions comments you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you